well, ain't this ironic? Um, hey everybody, this is Retro Care, Retro Care Reviews, not at all playing GTA while making this quick vlog. Uh, rules of the road, I am going to make a new retro review that's coming out tomorrow, probably later that day as well, I could also be wrong, fingers crossed. Um, I'm just gonna do my quick, uh, thoughts on a Funhouse personality that is leaving the company. I know it's not Bruce, uh, they had a whole podcast explaining why he wanted to leave and wanted to do his own business and stuff like that. Um, so I'm not going to talk about that. I am going to talk about Lawrence. Uh, for those who don't know, um, well, I don't, well, any of my anyone in my channel doesn't know, I really love the Funhouse guys, they're really cool people. I've never met them in real life, but from everything i heard so far, they're pretty cool. And, ah, oh, man, I wanted to keep the classes to stay in character for Lawrence, but, uh, yeah, that TV glare is just going to start, it's going to screw it up. Sorry, Lawrence. And, uh, yeah, uh, Lawrence Arntag is leaving, uh, Funhouse. Um, and, uh, Inside Gaming, um, card 2, I think their latest video of him explaining the bare bones of it. Um, I'm also gonna have his personal channel, uh, linked down below if you guys wanna support him. Uh, he just got a Twitch start, I think a, I don't know if it was on the regular, but it was, like, a couple of years or so. I could be, also be wrong on those dates. Um, he's currently playing Doom, uh, as I'm recording this. Uh, I'm a huge Doom guy, and, uh, I'm so happy he's probably gonna be playing, um, Eternal pretty soon, so, uh, that'll be nice. Uh, hang on a sec. I just gotta close on my game. Okay, yeah, that ain't happening. Uh, sorry, I'm playing GTA and doing this at the same time. Not a good sign. Sorry, Lawrence. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, for anyone who's trying to make quick drama of it, I think, what's his name, uh, that was happening during all the kick fix stuff? Uh, hang on, let me get the guy's name. Hero Say, um, Toy Gal- uh, was it Toy Galaxies or Twin Galaxies? Not Twin Galaxies, um, it was a Toku guy, damn it. Well, it was a recommendation, a book recommendation. Go to his video if you at all think he's going nuts about the whole, uh, Rooster Teeth conspiracy theories. When it comes to all the Ruby stuff, it's understandable, um, for Kick Vic, that's understandable. In Lawrence's case, it looked like he just wanted to leave for personal reasons. Nothing crazy, no drama, if anything is indicated with Bruce. Um, if anything does come out, maybe Lawrence himself will talk about it in 2020. Who knows? Um, for Lawrence himself, uh, if you're at all watching this, uh, hey, how are you? And uh, you are a really cool guy. Um, I've kind of thought of this in the back of my head even now. <laughs> you're basically a good guy version of uh, Kevin Pereira. Uh, for those who also don't know, I had a history of not liking everything from Jack, uh, G4, mainly Kevin stuff. Uh, he didn't have any crappy history or stuff like that. Um, I just thought the guy wasn't funny. Uh, Lawrence is totally funny. Um, I think one of the funniest things he's probably going to do for a stream in 2020 is read the novelization of Batman Forever. And for anyone who's new to my channel, I did an entire Bat Month. Cards that version of uh, Bat Month. So, um... Uh, word of warning, I play a character named Real Nerf Red Hood, uh, for the new, for the new subscriber, sorry for that, and, uh, weird, if it's a weird pale voice, uh, for you, Lawrence. Uh, so yeah, my quick thoughts, eh, it's not, eh, even for sort of drama, it's kind of slow news day kind of drama, I don't really see what the big deal is, he wanted to leave for personal reasons, maybe he wants to make his own business like Bruce, I don't want to get into the conspiracies, this is no drama for me. And yet, someone's gonna make uh, a big thing of it, probably spin the story differently. Again, this is my honest, like, take on it. Um, from Autumn herself, who's also, uh, Bruce's girlfriend, um, who's taking over IG, she is doing great. Um, and for good reason, uh, that Lawrence kind of, like, trained him for, like, a month before he bailed. Um, and that's a good, that was a good business move, honestly. Um, seeing their contact regularly the last couple weeks was pretty funny. Decent stuff, decent, like, news reporting as far as game journalism goes. Uh, as I've heavily stated, and I will be saying on uh, my next uh, retro review, I am not a gaming channel, but those are my go-to sites if I really want to talk about stuff gaming-wise. Um, so that being said, sorry for the quick vlog. I know this has been more of a plague of uh, my back wall here than uh, me doing figure reviews throughout the year, and I am going to get to that for my retro review on Star Wars-related content later tomorrow. So with that said, uh, hand here to sub to the channel, and I think if I can find Lawrence's previous video, it'll probably be around there as well to get an idea of the situation. Other hand here to, again, my previous video and just see what the hell I was talking about with uh, Titan Season 2. Sorry for that still. Uh, and one final uh, message to Lawrence himself, again, if he's listening, or if I'll probably share this in Funhouse's uh, Twitch, uh, not Twitch, uh, Discord. They're kind of nice. The community's not crazy there, unlike everything else from Rooster Teeth, from what I've been hearing. 
um, hey, how are you? I'm cool. I'm a good guy. I respect Lawrence's decision. I'm not trying to make any drama of it. All I, I just think it's an okay move. And to be real, I really want to see his novelization of Batman Forever. For real. That sounds pretty insane for 2020. That's it. Take care. Subscribe. I'm Richard Gear, Richard Gear Reviews. And um, Lawrence, do whatever the hell you want. You earned it, man.